people welcome back to my patreon page I am your host Shaheen in, uh, in today's video we are going to update the analysis of gold silver British pound Canadian dollar and euro and uh, we'll see where the prices are ha happening prices have shown interesting price action today here on Monday so let's start from euro and then we'll uh, let's actually start from euro right over here and then we'll head on from over here first of all um, we were looking for the correction, the completion of the correction. We were expecting the prices to go down. And we were considering this as A, B, and C. So right now, uh, the pattern looks much better. We can consider that this is A, B, and C, a single zigzag, a correction. And then we have another A, B, and C, a smaller zigzag, giving us an indication that the uh, bears are becoming tired. And we are finding support on the trend line that actually started right from over here. Uh, and we have already seen a bounce so I believe that we are probably at the end of the correction starting from the top if um, some of you guys missed bullish potential right over here and over here uh, then this is a very good entry point for uh, bullish uh, so I'm considering right now is wave 1 and 2 and another wave 1 and 2 alright or you can consider this whole movement as wave 1 and A, B and C that can help too the point here is that we are seeing impulsive movement and corrective movement and impulsive movement and corrective movement so we are finding support right now here I believe that euro since uh, from our analysis we are well aware of it that euro is very very close to the historic lows and uh, that's what I've shown you uh, repeatedly on my analysis and uh, I believe that now we are heading into a longer term uh, trend we have seen a lot of accumulation happening it took us so many days uh, nearly from last November to November, about two months of data almost right so we have seen a lot of accumulation and we are finding the support and I believe that we are going to go head on if some of you guys are actually tired you can refer back to a gold chart and I'll uh, bring it back to if I can uh, let me see okay remember this portion we have seen impulsive movement corrective movement impulsive movement corrective movement and all of a sudden when the actual trend starts uh, we have seen good potential so I, I think right now the starting uh, portion that we have seen is looking exactly as we've seen in gold because uh, gold was bearish and then we have seen a similar behavior from euro so I think that we are at the beginning of a very good uh, trend uh, ahead of us so if you wanna if you missed euro then you wanna pay attention to euro right now I myself uh, bullish on euro if you guys want I can uh, post my own uh, results as well uh, and then the next thing is Canadian dollar on my analysis on uh, I gave you guys an indication that we shall wait for the break of this price area because there was a the potential for the prices to go up and that's exactly what we are seeing uh, right now if we can uh, if you can uh, draw the uh, uh, percentage tool from the top to bottom we are finding uh, support around at 50 percent does that mean that our world should come right over here it can certainly push the price right over here and find a double bottom with this one uh, but right now it's deep enough for me to go uh, bearish on the trend so I have taken a position just uh, now I think I've, I'll share my position with you guys so I'm uh, bearish on the on the chart and I'm expecting that Canadian dollar is going to get stronger and stronger against uh, dollar index uh, US dollar index we are seeing the same phenomena occurring in euro and Canadian dollar so right now I'm bearish I'm not uh, if you want you can be a little more uh, to be sure you can wait for the day uh, pattern to complete the day candle to complete and the day candle will give us an indication right now this is the day candle right over here so we have seen huge price movement going up and uh, from right from here 0 0.25 25 percent to 50 percent so if you want to wait for it there will give you an confirm con confirmation there's also possibility once again the prices might shoot up my point here is now we are seeing an impulsive move and a corrective move uh, whether that wherever you want to enter is that your trading decision but right now I'm turning bearish on the chart and I'm expecting the US can that Canadian dollar would become stronger and stronger against US dollar once again if you guys missed it our analysis clearly indicated that we have seen double tops on a larger time frame 
and I gave go, go, give an indication right right over here we had a very good trade running up all right over here and right now you guys can see that the support is coming in handy and right now not only the support is coming in handy uh, we can see that the support for the bearish move is also coming in handy so we are very very close the another thing that we can use uh, is we can definitely draw the <coughs> percentage tool on the previous uh, range and this will give us an indication of where the price is heading right now so as you guys can see right now that we found when prices are coming down we found the resistance at 25 percent of the previous range and then now we are finding support at 62.5 percent uh, so this is also giving us indication we have another support earlier at 75 percent uh, so could this run to 75 percent again following a double top there is a potential for it but I'm not gonna wait for it this is my personal trading decision if you guys wanna wait for it then why not go ahead and uh, but keep in mind that we are bearish on the chart British pound has given us uh, quite an interesting opportunity for the people who missed the trading trade uh, we were at right over here and then we made a we came out of this range and I gave an indication that we are going to go high and that's exactly what we are seeing so uh, myself when we have seen the strength coming back in British pound I was not in the trade and so I'm really happy that we were able to see the pullback right over here so I've run the the percentage tool and we can see that right now support is occurring at a 50 percent it's also coming in in a structure which is of a previous uh, impulse wave which existed in the previous impulse wave can british pound come down all the way down over here at 62.5 percent there is a potential so if you want to once again wait for the day to complete uh, the day candle would definitely give an indication before turning right up uh, but we are at a very very good place I have gone uh, bullish on that trend it's just one of the risky things I am taking that's my trade uh, way of trading and then here is uh, we can always once again go back to the previous uh, the previous swing that we have seen we can see that this is the previous swing uh, and we can see right now that first of all we have seen a resistance coming at 25% or 75 percent of the previous move and right now we are finding support at the 37.5 percent of the previous move uh, so this is also pretty good uh, could it make the power prices go right over here finding support at 75 percent definitely there is a possibility uh, that's what if you want to wait for it <coughs> why not and once again I'm expecting that we are going to see strength in the British pound and I think that we are seeing more strength in British pound and in Canadian dollar as compared to euro against uh, US dollar so it's up to you what you want to trade but uh, I have distributed my funds in all three of them now silver we are expecting that the field find uh, some sort of corrective pattern and go up uh, so this corrective pattern has gone a bit a little deeper uh, right now I'm still uh, I gave an indication to guys, you guys that uh, till this support is broken I'm not turning uh, bearish on silver and that's exactly the case right now I'm still I do not have a position on silver open and I'm waiting for the price uh, to fall below uh, first of all another thing is happening right over here if some of you guys are aware of it right now we are just uh, above the previous top right over here because prices moved swiftly right over here so we have seen some sort of correction I believe that there is a possibility for the price to go uh, up right over here if it does that that will be much closer and uh, for the price to keep close to the trend line and then we are expecting for the price to fall uh, below so as I said that um, I am more bearish on silver right now and our analysis is giving us an indication that we are putting probably heading towards nineteen dollars fifteen cents and uh, but for that to happen I'm waiting for this uh, break to occur and this break has not happened we're seeing a better opportunity on gold I have taken uh, two or three uh, sh very interesting small time frame uh, trades uh, as I guys told you guys that I was considering this uh, bottom to be very important so last night I went bullish right over here and then I took some amount profits and once again I'm seeing that there is a double bottom uh, double top rocket right occurring over here consist keeping in mind that we are still above the uh, the support so I went bearish once again it's a it's just very risky to do so uh, but it did pay me off right now once again we are staying above the the previous high right over here and I gave I told you guys that we are going to be bullish on gold and we are expecting for the price to go up a little uh, probably in this range right over here 1860 uh, area and we are expecting for the 
the price of gold to be stronger in this area and uh, give us uh, some more accumulation and then uh, we will be turning negative uh, or bearish on gold let me draw the trend line rightly so this is the proper trend line I'm using and if this trend line gets broken uh, on down toward downwards uh, once again I'm telling you we are just looking for the top to happen and we will turn bearish but we'll have to wait for the break of the support line our target uh, for gold turns bearish uh, price action is messy I was expecting this is gonna be creating wave 3 but that, that definitely has not occurred so this is quite interesting we are still above the previous high we are finding one two and three supports I think that we are gonna see some um, bullish price action quite ugly bullish price action you know uh, so some very small frame like like this one right over here very ugly or something like this sort of behavior um, we're gonna go in that sort of uh, behavior in gold so once again I'm bearish on gold and silver we are, but we are waiting for the confirmation of the uh, prior trend to uh, give us a confirmation before we can actually change the side and if that happens couple of possibilities are happening uh, I'm looking towards it I'll be able to grip the the price levels later I'm looking into it closely and I'm going uh, through all the data to give a potential price uh, targets for that and that's it for today uh, I wish you some of you guys will be able to uh, make uh, good money out of the analysis have a good one and uh, bye bye if you guys are interested I can definitely show let me have a look so these are my trades on on uh, this is my gold trade I have gone long above the um, here is the thing there so I'm gone long above these two points right over here my stop loss is right over here too just in case you know the stop losses uh, these uh, these tops these bottoms are carried away in that case I will be able to uh, take the losses quickly and turn and then once again I have no trade on silver I have a couple of trades on uh, euro actually about uh, yeah 20,000 euros I've bought I've gone long on euro uh, here is the stop loss if you guys are looking for it uh, okay so as you guys can see I can I just went long on euro and my stop loss is right over here which is the beginning of the the price structure right over here too and then I have a position on British pound that I opened up today it's about how much it is it's 20,000 British pound gone long against US dollar uh, and here is the stop loss is it's risky but I've decided to take I have got a couple of uh, uh, short positions on on Canadian dollar and I'm really expecting for the price to uh, give us an indication let's have a look uh, for a trend forming like this one so I'm expecting for the price to for give us a trend a good two three months trend right and we are gonna expect a higher high and a higher low and a higher high and a higher low so this is interesting to see in let's see how the markets turn have a good one and bye bye